There are three main aspects that make our lake communities diverse. The lakes themselves, the homes these lakes provide to plants and animals, and the way we use these watery gems. No two Wisconsin lakes are identical. They range from shallow pools to Big Green Lake, the deepest natural lake in the state. Lakes vary a lot in size, too. There are thousands of very small lakes, most of them under five acres. Because there are a handful of very large lakes, the average lake is 70 acres, but only a few lakes are this size, and the most common lake size is about five acres. Lakes vary the most when it comes to shape. From very simple to the most complex glacial carvings. Some lakes are even named after their shapes. Do you know the most common lake name in Wisconsin? These diverse lakes are essential to Wisconsin's amazing biodiversity. At the top of the lake food web, birds and mammals depend on lakes for food, water, and shelter. 237 different birds breed in Wisconsin, and 59 of them depend on lakes or rivers. In addition to our common loon, the Pacific and the red-throated loons sometimes use Wisconsin lakes during their migrations. The least sandpiper is the smallest shorebird in the world, weighing in at less than one ounce. It also depends on Wisconsin waters during its annual migration. In contrast, the 16-pound American white pelican, with a 9-foot wingspan, breeds on several Wisconsin lakes and consumes 3 pounds of fish per day. There are 69 species of native mammals in Wisconsin. But only a handful truly depend on lakes for their homes. Fish, amphibians, and reptiles are more numerous and diverse. There are 159 fish species, 19 amphibians, and 39 reptiles. From the tiniest frog to the massive sturgeon, these critters all rely on an incredibly diverse insect community. Many are invisible to the naked eye. Over 160 species of dragonflies and damselflies are found in Wisconsin. All these animals depend on plant life, from algae to trees. A healthy lake will have many plants, from microscopic diatoms to larger rooted plants. These plants are important because they minimize erosion, provide homes for aquatic creatures, and improve water clarity. 
There are about 125 native plants that live under and float on the surface of Wisconsin's waters. The world's smallest flowering plant is watermeal, and Wisconsin has three native species. Compare this to the American lotus, whose leaves can measure up to two and a half feet across. The slimiest? Water shield, definitely. Add to this rich diversity one more unique critter, the fickle human being. Some live on lakes, others just visit. But for many of us, these lakes run in our blood. Lakes are places filled with dreams, moving to ancient rhythms. They are magical places woven with family histories and legends. According to oral histories, the Anishinaabeg followed a shell in the sky from the great waters of the east to the place where the food grows on the water. That food was wild rice, the only grain indigenous to North America. Folks get involved in many ways to support and protect these lakes. We come together from our diverse backgrounds because of our love of lakes. We come together because we each have a unique role to play. Each one of us is a puzzle piece that forms the Wisconsin Lakes Partnership.